Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Steel Donut from Texas Doxy Mama. <laughs> I think we've done another one of, of hers. Um, really neat. So I should have started this off with calling all steampunkers. Um, this is, it's really cute. And if you are a steampunk fan, this uh, will fit right in. But it's just, it's really, really cute. Really, really cute. Really, really simple. All right. Starts off with an orb. A big orb. Then a smaller one inside. Making the donut. <laughs> and then... And actually, you see, oh, look at, I nicely matched up where I stopped and started on both of those. So that's exactly where I'm going to put this first line <laughs> so you can't see it. And then, so just, you know, dividing this up, putting lines in however you would see fit. Just kind of separate it until I make one big. I just always get kind of debating when I get to the end. It's like, do I make one big one or can I fit in two? It looks just fine. All right, and then on, you know, one side of the other on these lines, just put three little, little dots. If you have a thicker nib pen, you can just, you know, press it. Oh, actually, that works pretty good, just pressing it in with even this 01. That works good versus trying to make a little dot. Just depends on how big you want them. Oh, and you know what? It just seems awful big. I'm going to put one right here. There we go. All right. And that's it. <laughs> it's so cool. Now, of course, you, you know, add some. Well, and, and, well let me show you first because I can, I can play putting things, you know, behind afterwards. But what I decided to do on my version of the step out was, you know, let's kind of make it a little 3D-ish. And, you know, put a little, um, an aura on one side. Now, oh, you know what? I'm going to do this differently because I've seen this done. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. Especially if you get a nice sliver like that. And then just put some very faint lines in there. That looks neat. Now, I've thought about putting some on the other side. But I think I would put them on this side here. But it just makes me nervous to do so. So I'm not going <laughs> to. That's, that's well enough. And then for shading, then, um, and I'm, I'm following um, the step out. Or, yeah, step out samples. I'm going to put graphite on the opposite side of where I put the dots. Up to you, however you want to do it. But this is how I'm going to do that. Because then it kind of gives the impression that you know these it, you know these are segments they're riveted down, and it might create that. Oh, do I have a thinner one? Do I do? Let's make sure it's. I think I use this with uh, some white because it looks a little gray, but that works out good. And I'm just kind of doing a scooching motion and then and sliding it this way a little bit as I do because I didn't, as I do it, because I don't want to um, have too much of the graphite in there. I just want to have it right there. Nope. It needs to be that way. <laughs> yeah. No, that looks good. And that is it. So, of course, as I mentioned, you know, you, this could be used in, in so many different ways. I'm going to use it like just as a, as a, as I'm filling in this um, tile. And, oh, let's see, let's get fancy, fancy. And put a, a large one. White. I think, ooh, if I could make one and have it go through that hole, that would be neat. 
Oh, let's just put one down here because, you know, when I have an odd number, just because. All right, so as I play with this, let me mention, um, you know, if you click something that I haven't mentioned in a long time, if you click on my picture or my name below the video, that will take you to the home page uh, on the YouTube channel, and there you will find links to my playlists. And I do, if you're a steampunk, if you like drawing steampunk, um, I do have a playlist for steampunk. So when I have ones like this, and look at me sliding off the thing, um, when I have ones like this that fit into that genre, then I, I put it on the playlist. And eventually that will work its way over to my website uh, in categories. But until then, that's where that's where it is. All right. One thing that I I've, I've try attempted to do with it when I'm holobowing one is maybe pick a place to start. So that way it doesn't look like the line is continuing. Do my best to anyway. But yeah, I wanted to mention that because if you, like you said, if you enjoy this, um, I might actually on my website, I might have a steampunk category. Uh, I, I think I started one when I did a steampunk class. So let's just put it there. Okay. Um. Yeah, so there might be one there. Anyway, if you are enjoying this video, would love to have you click the like button. And also, if you have not done so yet, um, and would like to, I'd love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. So that's if you like it enough to see more. Um, in that description section, you will find links to the step outs. Now, I always do my own version, uh, as well as link to the originator of the tangle. Um, below that, ways to connect with me. So again, if you really, if you really enjoy my goofy style, and I hope that you do, uh, you can join me in classes. I teach twice weekly. A lot of them are free, but I do have some that are paid, and th those are on my website. Uh, if you happen to be on Facebook and want to hang out with a bunch of amazing Tangle addicts, we'd love to hang out with you too. So there's a link there for the group. Uh, know that there are uh, like three questions to answer to gain entry to that. Uh, I also have a link to my own Facebook page. So you can, you know, if you don't want to join the group, you can just follow me there. And when I post classes, you should get notified just, you know, it, it, the normal way that Facebook works if you follow me. Um, and I think that that's it. <laughs> I do believe. So what, like I said, what a fun tangle. Really, really fun. And um, it's so steampunky. All right. So with that, thanks so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.